anyway, this isn't a car the likes of you should ever ride. And so you better thank me, as I will graciously accept it as a gift. What? But you can't! That's my car! Do I look like I give a crap? This is common knowledge. Trouble Busters! Hello, my name is Melody. I live together with my husband, Asher, and I work at home. I have just one concern in life. No matter how hard I try, I'm never on the same horse as Asher's older sister, Sarah. Just the other day, she sent me a message that looked like this. Melody, dear, don't leave me on red, okay, you cute little klutz? Yes, what's the matter? Finally, you reply. <laughs> How do you reply so late even though you're an unemployed introvert? This talk again? How many times do I have to tell you that I work a job at home? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't need to lie to me about that anymore, dear. You don't need to have pride being a dumb and employed introvert and all. I said I'm employed. Shut up! Don't talk back to me when you don't even have a job. And thanks to your lazy ass, I completely forgot what I wanted to tell you. <laughs> I'll text again, dumb hobo. I guess you get the vibes that Miss Sarah doesn't approve of me in the slightest. Insisting that I, someone with a home job, am, quote, an unemployed introvert. Asher has tried numerous times to correct her, but she never showed any sign of changing. And I was beside myself with frustration. But even with this concern, we as a couple have a beautiful treasure. And that is our beloved sports car. The price was quite the monster, but we worked hard to buy it. The two of us. But Sarah was like... Miles out of your league of you, jobless recluse! This is the kind of car that perky women like me should ride. And it's not something to be driven by disgusting hags like you. The onslaught of slurs and insults. And then came one day. <sighs> <sighs> the trash. Just in the nick of time. <laughs> Right when I was rushing to take out the trash, I suddenly heard the sound of an engine coming from the house. That familiar sound belonged to none other than our treasured sports car. What? Why is the engine on? Huh? Why are you riding our car without our permission, Sarah? Melody, dear, I'm taking this car, okay? Pardon? The hell do you mean? Stop! Stop at once! I quickly got rid of the trash and took off after her, but I was too late. Sarah had driven the car somewhere, out of sight. I believe when I was hurrying out with the trash, she saw her chance, snuck inside the house, and stole the car keys. I had no idea what to do, so I just decided to text Sarah directly. Sarah, what is the meaning of this? Sarah! But no matter how many messages I sent, no response. And then the afternoon came and went. And right around evening started, she finally responded. Oh, if it isn't Melody the secluded derelict, how do you do? I'm now in a parking lot, taking a break from driving. So could you not disturb me, please? The frick are you talking about? That's our car! Ugh, you're so annoying. Could you just not message me about nonsense like that? Shut your cake hole now! Bring back our car immediately! This is our treasure as a married couple! I'm asking you, give it back! Aww, most definitely not. The hell? Do you even know how worthy this car is? This isn't something a jobless hobo like you should have now, is it? An extravagant car, you see? For the last time, I have a job! Again with that lie? Doesn't work anymore, honey. Anyway, this isn't a car the likes of you should ever ride. And so you better thank me, as I will graciously accept it as a gift. What? But you can't! That's my car! Do I look like I give a crap? This is common knowledge. Well then, about time I resume my driving. See ya! Miss Sarah, we're not done here!
here yet! Sarah! And then, my conversation with Sarah ended. As I went panic-stricken over the whole thing, Asher came home. I'm home! Wha- what's wrong, Melody? You look like a blueberry, for real! Oh, Asher, honey! I told him everything, and we started to talk about what we should do. We decided on... If she doesn't come back after another day, let's go to the police. As a last resort, Asher messaged his sister t numerous times asking her to bring the car back. But, as one would expect, she left them all on red. It was the dead of night. As I was nodding off on the living room couch, I heard the rumble of an engine outside. The sound! It's our beautiful car! I rushed outside to see it, but there was no sign of Sarah. But in its place... Oh, what fresh hell is this? Was our car, or rather, what was pitifully left of it, countless cracks snaked across the windows, and the front of the vehicle looked as though it had suffered a head-on impact with something. If that wasn't enough, inside the car was a landfill of cigarette butts, and this wreckage was nothing like our beloved. Curse that goddamn woman! Keep my anger under control. I sent Sarah a text. Miss Sarah, would you mind explaining this to me? What now? I did what you asked, and I brought it back to your place. And you have more complaints? There's just no pleasing you, is there, you freaking shut-in? Enough bullshit! Why is our car completely destroyed? Oh, that? Not much damage, honey. I may have hit a telephone pole, but the car could still be driven normally, so there's no problem, is there? I'm okay, too. Of course there's a problem! Rendering someone else's car in such an atrocious state? You stupid bitch! The frick? You shouldn't have been even riding that piece of glory, you reclusive hermit! Don't you dare talk back at me, Missy! I give up. You're hopeless. In any case, I did what you asked me to do. So I'm ending everything here. Got it? I'm sleeping now. Going to bed. Good night. What remained inside of me was... a void of emptiness over our beautiful car destroyed. An unbelievable fury. This was the car that Asher and I had dedicated time and love to, and she was going to walk away without giving it a second thought? I was keeping everything at bay simply because she's my husband's sister. But I've had it. I'll never forgive that bitch. Initiate trouble busters. The next day, I took care of all that needed to be done in the morning and was working at home. That evening, Sarah contacted me. Hey, what's all this about? Why are you on the friggin' news? Oh, good morning, Miss Sarah. Did you sleep well? Of course you did. After such a nice drive like that. But we couldn't get a wink last night, I'll tell you what. I don't care about that! The news! Look at the news! The news? Ah, of course. I turned on the living room TV. A daily news program was on, and what was on screen but our blasted car. And a photo of my face. On to the next report. Miss Melody, a famed author, has recently suffered the incident involving the theft of her expensive car, and its return, smashed to smithereens. Sources confirm Melody has filed a damage report. The details of the incident were quite elaborate. Ah! Seems my television debut has officially launched. But why did they use a photo of me before I lost weight, pray tell? I wanted them to use a photo of me now, thin and beautiful. I even provided them a publicity photo of me. This isn't the time to say such bullshit! How are you this famed author? You're nothing but a reclusive hobo, right? I've told you time and time again, Sarah. I'm not a recluse. I do the housework, and I have a job at home. I could be bragging if I say it myself, so I was silent the whole time. But I'm kind of famous for my work, you see. <laughs> well, I didn't think that my submitting a damage report to the police would be anything newsworthy. 
so I may have been a bit surprised. Just a smidge. What? The police? Why would you do that? What the frick do you think? As a result of stealing our dear car, you were responsible for an accident, and then proceeded to act like nothing happened. Anyone with common sense would see they'd go straight to the feds. But still, we're family, honey. That simply does not matter. I'm not so much a patient person as to remain unfazed by the destruction of a car that we, as a married couple, treasure deeply. And the cigarette butts were indeed thrown away. But soon enough, we'll find out you're the culprit, Miss Sarah. You better prepare yourself for the worst. <laughs> Wait, hang on a second. I didn't even know this would explode like this. I'm Asher's older sister, you know. Your beloved husband, sister? Come on, let's settle this together in private, okay? Would you beg for forgiveness if things didn't go your way? If you think you'd be forgiven that quickly, you're sadly mistaken. I will never forgive you. Good day to you. Later on, through the cigarette butts, fingerprints, and hair samples, it took no time to discover she was the perpetrator. Because we, as a married couple, never retracted our damage report. Sarah was found guilty, albeit with a potential suspension of that sentence. We demanded a lot of damage compensation. The incident eventually led her parents, as well as other relatives, to cut ties with her. And because of the news, Sarah became the center for the unapproving eye of passerbys. Perhaps she couldn't handle that environment any longer. She disappeared somewhere. As a final act of compassion, we allowed the damages to be paid off in divided payments. And they are being paid indeed. Proof she's alive, I suppose. But I don't care what happens to her. And then... Look, Melody! The newest model of Atencio! This is it! I have a feeling something bad is gonna happen with a company of that name. How about we get a car from Apprehendi instead? <laughs> with the compensation we got from Sarah, we've been talking about which car to buy next. No matter what we buy, we're going to treat this one even better than our last. Trouble Busters.